just as the earlier video was of PVC, we will show it on TPO membrane, sometimes called modified EPDM. Here it is important to remember that pure EPDM is not the same as what we have here. This is modified EPDM, which is actually TPO, also under the name FPO. Repairs of this type so far looked like we had to have a welding machine because the adhesive alone without a proper primer held very poorly. You will see the different stages of the repairs. We have a hole. The repair will be done with ATK 812 adhesive. The most important thing is to degrease the surface. Alcohol is the best. If you have acetone on hand, it is even better. Patch about five centimeters from each edge. That is here it ends five centimeters this way, five centimeters that way, and the same here that is five centimeters this way, five centimeters that way. We have to trim most important rounded corners. We have this top. See, she is slightly grayish on the underside. This is an alpha dam acrylic membrane with a mesh inside. We have it attached, degreased. If the membrane itself lay on the roof for more than a few years, it has dirt, sand, then of course we even roughly clean it here. brush, pressure washer, the idea is to remove this dirt. And most importantly, in our case, we will not do it. That is, it is not needed. It is cleaning with sandpaper. At least what is on the roof. What we have here, it's not necessary. But what's on the roof, it's about that first layer, such a degraded layer, removing that and then removing what we we have sanded, that is, once again, degreasing again. And now the most important thing is this. This is TPO-FPO, which is an EPDM base with polypropylene additives, more or less something like this. Each manufacturer has different kinds of additives. It's called modified EPDM, although it's not exactly modified EPDM because modified EPDM are membranes that you mainly glue. Then you can't weld it because EPDM is an artificial rubber that we actually vulcanize if we want to. And we can't weld. That's why it's a membrane. You can call it popularly modified EPDM, but there must be information that it is a weldable membrane anyway, if you will, whether on the roof or lay such a membrane, then you will know it. The bottom line is this, that 822 primer must be applied due to the fact that if you do not apply this primer, neither 812 glue will glue it well, nor any other glue will not really glue it well. The exceptions are adhesives, which are on butyl, however, are not as strong as these adhesives. Maybe you could also do it with hill coal available from us, but it is still not as strong a repair as by ATK 812 glue here. By the fact that we have to spray primer 822, this repair in water we cannot do. There must be a dry element because the primer must evaporate. If there was a repair in the rain, only hill call. Well, and here I am spraying. I do the same with the patch. There doesn't have to be an unknown amount of it. I as much as oversprayed here, basically. We wait about 15 or 20 minutes, depending on conditions. Well, and we are about to apply the glue. We keep the primer dry. 
it just needs to be dry, although dry is already after a few minutes, but we still leave it for 15 minutes. Now, yes, just such an application is not recommended. That is, even though the glue itself is thick and we could leave it that way, which we showed in another video. We still do not recommend such a repair. A repair with a patch is always safer. You do it once and it's just holier than thou than something like here. Now, yes, we have this patch. We have primer splashed on the largest area. And now the most important thing, in the middle of the lines, a gap of three, five centimeters a line. This will give us strength and adhesion here. The main thing is that even if water got out there for some reason, it won't push us out and make a bubble. It will hold it, but actually more important is this. To apply a fairly thick layer near the edge, such a centimeter, say. The ends remember to apply more, one on top of the other so that they go grey. And now mainly what is the point, the moment we apply it to ourselves. After application we press down, if you only have a roller, it is more convenient to do it with a roller instead of with your hand. And now there must not be very strong pressure, the glue itself must at least a millimetre or two remain. Therefore, this edge that we applied here, there should be more of this glue. But if there isn't, that is, it doesn't come out the way we did here, nothing happened, no problem. We do it on the principle of application and such a facet. Such a bevel facet, which secures the fact that if somewhere for the sake of safety we did not apply the glue in fact it happened that we did not take care of something it really secures us quite a few situations where water can penetrate inside and now what's most important where it's not done very often where we're in training and we show how to glue it After something like this, you can't leave it like that. It has to be, whether in the form of a finger, even on a glove, although the glue itself is not aggressive. On the principle of such pressure, if this pressure is not there, then the biggest problems arise from this later. With leakage or even with standing, because the strength gives what is inside. And tightness, we are talking about the fact that the Air tightness now will earn in 10 years and no water will enter on the principle of passing through zero. That is slightly penetrates, pushes out, slightly penetrates, pushes out in the sense of through zero and it gets ice bubble and then there is a problem. That's why this glue, by the way, not only this glue must be, see, pressed down a nice slope that if the water goes through, it's still about here, overflows, flows on, and not that just troweled, these are two dense adhesives to do it this way. Uh, what is important, it's not silicone glue, polyurethane glue, it has no bitumen, which means we can also glue it to polystyrene directly, it has no solvents, it's resistant to UV light, which most of the glues you use, roofing glues and the like, has one of the drawbacks of all these things I mentioned. And later there are problems that such a patch is after a year or two to be thrown away in the sense that it... Uh The most important thing, see, is that this is durable enough, there is no problem for me to take. Here, acutely extreme cases because we act it physically as if someone will be shoveling snow, for example, but trying to 
to break it is simply already destroying the material itself. Here we tear off a piece so that you can grab it with pliers. See? For peeling is what is the worst, not only for gluing, but such undermining at the moment when someone drives a shovel. Well then we tear this membrane and from the inside here we have such a possibility. See how the holds for such a total bend, see? Here we have the glue. 